Hi guys, it's Jess and today I'm going to show you the fastest way to carve your pumpkin so that you can get it on your porch in time for those trick-or-treaters. You're going to need a couple items that are laying around your house, so let me just show you what those are. First thing you're going to need is a Sharpie marker. Second thing you're going to need is your knife. The third thing you're going to need is a handheld mixer. So this is just a regular kitchen mixer. You want to make sure that you have the metal beaters attached and not anything that's silicone or plastic because that just won't cut it for this project. Finally, you're going to need a handheld drill and some drill bits. So I've just got a couple different sizes picked out here and you can uh, play around with whatever sizes you want and you'll see what we're going to use those for in a minute. That's a heavy pumpkin. Okay, so I'm going to take my Sharpie marker and I'm just going to trace out a nice little square. So next we're going to use the knife and we're going to start cutting out our trace marks around on an egg. We always want to be cutting away with, from you. So the blade should be facing away from you. Start at the side closest to you and work your way out. Now, because you've got the uh, garbage bag or tablecloth right underneath you that you're just going to wrap up and throw it all together, this part's optional, but I want to keep my pumpkin seeds. So I've decided to grab a bowl and I'm going to put all of my seeds inside the bowl. But the most grueling, and time consuming part about carving your pumpkin is emptying the pumpkin. We got a lot of guts in there. I'm sure you can see up here, but I'll flip it this way for you guys. That thing is full. Now let me show you how to empty it real quick. blender has done for us is it's actually ripped apart everything from the edges so it's nice and easy just to scoop right out. Now because my pumpkin is so big I couldn't reach all the way inside. If your pumpkin's smaller you should have no problem but this is just such a big pumpkin it can't reach that far in through this little hole. So we're doing the best we can to show you what we can do with what we got. So again you're going to want to pull out that Sharpie marker if you like to trace things or if you have great eye hand coordination and visual, you can just skip the Sharpie. But I'll show you what we're going to do here. You want to make sure you're working on the best facing side of your pumpkin. Is this my center? Okay, so right about here. Okay, so I've got the word boo traced out on my pumpkin. So it's time to put our drill bit in the drill and I'm just going to put my bigger size bit in there for now. And I'm going to drill through all of these holes I've just drawn on. And at this point, if you have any black marker showing through that you don't want there, you can just go around with a paper towel and rub it off. Now, before I go adding more drill marks, I just kind of want to show you guys what uh, the drill is doing underneath the surface. So hold on a sec while I grab a candle. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool. You could really use your imagination. You could do up some pictures, make any word you like. And there's also so many different drill bits out there on the market that you can play around with. So I encourage you all to have some fun experimenting with your pumpkins this year and using some tools that you don't normally use. Hope you liked this video. And if you did, follow along for more.